What I'm showing you here is how I had a really nice black sleeping bag. I actually had two of them, but someone stole one of them. And here, someone cut my sleeping bag. I also had a blue sleeping bag for one of the teenagers of my love. And what I found is someone cut the sleeping bag here. You see, when I receive things from kind charities like the Salvation Army, I am very specific and very clear-minded about what I can handle carrying, what I can't. I don't like people utilizing my materials on my ministry because I've never allowed it. I've never authorized it. Only one time did I show a piece of paper to a woman who works at the Eastern Illinois Food Bank who came out to give me a $50 Meyer card to try to help me eat. But someone actually mesmerized me when I was taking a pee, stole my journal that was mine that had my money in it, like maybe $5 plus my $50 gift card from Meyer, along with a whole bunch of notes about my fair love. And what I can say to you is that was not their life or right to do. Religious groups like to use as much as they can to harm you. And this is where we're headed in America. We don't need another civil war across America. But let's talk about you. You see, when I challenge you, I'm challenging you to show you. What kind of a person are you? Are you a Malphi or are you a Harry Potter? Are you the guy who's going to take the hits from everybody else or are you going to be the one who's the hitter? And the liar in you says, I'm not responsible or liable for anything I do or anything I say. That's not true. You might be the most magnificent person in one moment in time and the bitch on wheels in the next, but everybody has the right to do that. But in general, how do people think about you? Do they think of you as a liar? Do they think you as manipulative? Do they think you of as bitch on wheels? What do they think of you and do they care? Because in your family, you're important. You're the mom to somebody, you're important to that girl. You're the wife to somebody, that's great. If you're the husband of someone, then what kind of a husband are you? And what kind of a father are you? And what did you do your whole life to produce a better life for your wife, your children, or anything you do? It's great that you just bought yourself a little fucking puppy, but are you going to be able to feed that thing? Or are you going to keep lying to you?